What's happening? It's Chris Cantori and welcome to The Green Room, an intimate behind the scenes look at some of your favorite bands on the road. This episode, we're joined by Company of Thieves, an indie rock trio out of Chicago, Illinois, playing at the Casbah San Diego. This is The Green Room. Formed in 2007 by gifted vocalist Genevieve Schatz and guitarist Mark Wallach, Company of Thieves released their critically acclaimed debut album, Ordinary Riches, on Wind Up Records in early 2009. Delivering deep, smart indie rock, folk, and blues, this Chicago three-piece quickly rose from coffeehouse gigs to the national stage with an appearance on The Carson Daly Show, performing a brilliant rendition of their smash, Oscar Wilde, Company of Thieves. Can you tell us about the uh, recording process when it came to Ordinary Riches? Yeah, well, we recorded it in our producer's living room. He, uh, his name is Sean O'Keefe, and he was living in a house in Chicago. So we set up and sort of made uh, little sonic forts in different rooms of his house. Just kind of experiment and just move from room to room, whatever you know we felt. So we would just take it over and make noise tracks like just literally oh, yeah. just like I mean literally running around in this upstairs room with one mic just like running at the mic like <laughs> and, like throwing things across the room like shaking things in the I, just we just felt like it was our house and just yeah took it over it's one of my favorite releases of 2009 honestly and it Thank has you. what I like most about it though it's a record that has a lot of depth and I was wondering if you can kind of elaborate on some of the themes that you hit in the record. Well, we have influences that sort of are all across the board, and so our record kind of ended up being a mixed bag of nuts as far as like what it sounds like. Um, but thematically, it goes through you know everything from navigating your relationships as a you know young independent person to what it is to be living in a, in a huge urban city um, and trying to take care of yourself and find out you know who you are and what that means and um, I think the main message of the whole album is to follow what your true passion is and just dive in you know it has to be an all-or-nothing thing life is way too short to to risk it and it's been a uh, relatively quick rise for you guys as a band last couple of years skyrocketed when you look at how fast you guys have progressed. What's that done for the dynamic of the band or within the band structure? It, it takes time to get a band to be comfortable with the dynamic and we're still working on that but it's the first time we actually feel like we're on the same page and you know we feel good about each other's individual selves. And very, very yeah I think as you learn to you know get more comfortable on stage and with your music you can start to communicate better as a group and so this is like our family right now. What is it like being a woman surrounded by all men on the road, well, in the industry as a whole for you? You know, it has its ups and its downs. There are days when it's so difficult, you know, just to hold your ground because I'm always coming from a different place, I suppose. But yeah, I think it's it's something that I have to overcome every time, you know. I mean it's kind of just like you said, it's obvious that I'm a woman and you can't really see our band without noting the fact that the lead singer is a woman. Sure. And so that is um, a hurdle that you have to get over with people. Sometimes people will talk to me and say, oh, you know, I really don't like female singers, but I loved your show. And I'm like, wow, you just wiped out an entire, you know, section of the human race. <laughs> but yeah. thanks a lot, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you have that first door that you need to get through.
this episode of The Green Room. I'm Chris Cantori. Special thanks to Company of Thieves online at companyofthieves.net. And thanks to Tim Mays and the fine folks at the Casbah. This has been a Cantori Creative NAS production. Nah.